Welcome everyone, I'm Winter Mystic. You know, Mass Effect Andromeda drops on March 21st, not far away. And you know, I've always been a fan of the Mass Effect games. The first Mass Effect game must have played that four or five times to completion with New Game Plus. I love the characters, I love the RPG systems. The second one kind of took a little bit of the RPG systems out for more action. Still good, we'll talk about the third one a little later. But as for Mass Effect Andromeda, there isn't a whole lot being said about it. That is to say what the problem seems to be is the clips and snippets from the Mass Effect channel and there's not a whole lot of articles being written on it. There are a couple of comments from developers and there are some comments even about the game but we'll get into that controversy at the end of the video. Every time I hear anything about Mass Effect Andromeda it's not all that good. It's not positive I mean. It's not necessarily controversial news it's just it's kind of a general apathy. No one seems to really care especially EA and BioWare there. The name EA used to stand for something. EA means Electronic Arts, but as it stands right now, it seems to be more akin to entertainment accountants. Anything we can do to entertain the masses and make a quick buck, that's what's important. They don't seem to have a whole lot of quality control. The updates to Dragon Age Inquisition for the PC were just awful. They're still having glitches that they refuse to fix. They don't seem to care about the artistic integrity of anything. Get it out there and let's get the money made as soon as possible. They don't seem to be marketing this game too much. They don't seem to care too much about what happens to it in general. Whenever you hear anyone from YouTube talk about this game, and let's face it, that's where a lot of this advertising goes down nowadays. My son doesn't even watch TV anymore. He listens to the YouTubers. As it stands right now, the fact of the matter is there seems to be a general indifference about this game. Or people are just slightly annoyed. When you're trying to sell games, slightly annoyed doesn't work. What you want is controversy. What you want to do is piss somebody off. Off, but they're not pissing anyone off in any meaningful way with this game. And here are just a few examples. They announced that the game will indeed feature microtransactions. Players will be able to buy in-game currency, imaginatively named Andromeda Points, which can then be used to buy in-game packs, which are then used to get in-game items for the game's multiplayer portion. We have just a little under a month until BioWare's Mass Effect Andromeda finally hits store shelves. And I'm not lying when I say this, no one in my inner circle of friends, whether it's on the internet or in real life, gives a holy rat fuck about this game. Bioware just posted a trailer focusing on the combat of Mass Effect Andromeda, which honestly with a Mass Effect game, I get the least excited about combat and I still haven't been excited about Andromeda at all. As you can see, the controversy with Mass Effect Andromeda is not about the sex or the nudity or anything necessarily controversial in the game. It's more of the same thing that people have come to hate about the modern AAA gaming industry. Microtransactions, lack of faith in the developer, because let's face it, there's a lot of people still angry about Mass Effect 3. A red, blue, or green ending is not acceptable when you say that you have a sprawling, galactic, multiple choice game. So all your choices matter throughout the three connected games and then at the end, none of those decisions mattered. It just makes people who invested their time, energy, feel slightly cheated. Shows the futility of all the decisions made in the previous games. It really removed people from the experience. If Mass Effect Andromeda turns out to be part of a trilogy, Bioware will really have something to prove with that final game in this trilogy. Another problem that's not necessarily exclusive to Bioware is their games are called RPGs but seem to get further and further away from actual role-playing games, if you will. I mean, you have the story elements and you have the choice, but the growth systems, the leveling up systems are very lackluster to the point where they're almost pointless. You get a new skill, that's about it. It's it's rather sad. The way it would seem now, the way things are shaking out, any goodwill Bioware, by extension EA, has accumulated is rapidly drying up. Microtransactions are nothing new, but people are still sick of them. No one wants them. They're always divisive. And I think at this point, most people realize it's just a cash grab for the company. If you can't design your game well enough, the people get bored and say, well, about time I start buying some progression 
action, whether it's in multiplayer or single player, it doesn't matter. You failed as a game designer. That's a failure of game design. Another thing seems to be how a lot of the game devs have gone on, whether it be their Twitter accounts or little interviews here and there, to talk about how in Mass Effect Andromeda, the sex scenes will be like softcore porn. Which, don't get me wrong, I was a teenage boy when Mass Effect came out. I heard about the sex scenes. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not the reason I bought the game. I had tried it with a friend at his house, and I adored the game. The mechanics, the combat, the sex scenes were just a bonus. And at the end of the day, it's not what made Mass Effect 1 such a great game. It's just what put it in the forefront for people to see, right? No teen boy goes through all the trouble of playing Mass Effect for some polygonal pussy. It just doesn't happen. It's too much work. It wasn't much more than PG-13. Wasn't that bad. But of course, since it was in a video game, and children play video games, parents lost their minds. Because why watch your children? Why care about what they play? The sex scenes weren't that great. 20 seconds tops. But yeah, that, that whole thing with Liara to Sony was rather entertaining. And all the preceding ones were as well. But here's the thing. Does Bioware not know of a game called The Witcher 3? Like, if you're trying to rile people up and get people talking about your game because of softcore porn scenes in your game, well, you've kind of missed the boat. That ship has sailed quite a time ago. Let's not even factor in games where you can mod it like Saints Row to show nipples, or in Grand Theft Auto V, you can proceed to go into first person mode while soliciting a prostitute. Now, as I stated previously, with The Witcher 3, it's been out for quite some time now. All a person need do, as you can see right now, is go to YouTube, type in Witcher 3 sex scenes, and it turns YouTube into Pornhub. You get a bevy of clips, pretty much every sex scene from the video game. So why does Bioware think that sex scenes are going to sell Mass Effect via controversy? Because it didn't sell The Witcher 3 on controversy. <laughs> Funny enough, one of the main selling points for The Witcher 3 was the lack of controversy, in my opinion. No DRM, no crazy season passes. The developers of The Witcher 3 knew what they were doing. So why exactly does Bioware and EA think everyone's going to get into some crazy tizzy about their sex scenes when no one got into a tizzy about CD Projekt Reds and The Witcher 3 sex scenes, which are more plentiful. And let's face it, Mass Effect, your sex scenes tend to be one sex scene per playthrough at the end of the game. Maybe you get lucky once or twice in the game. I believe Jack from the second game was like that. You could have sex with her a couple of times and then you had to make a choice between her and Miranda, I believe. I forget it. It's been a while since I played. Where the Witcher, anyone sees that silver fox of Rivia and the panties come off. He doesn't even have to try. The man goes double bareback on a horse. Pretty sure they didn't have condoms back then, but he is pretty clever. Maybe he came up with one. But anyways, we're getting off topic and talking about Carol of Rivia's sex habits. Back to Mass Effect Andromeda. The fact of the matter is, is sex in video games is not that shocking anymore. It's not going to disturb anyone's sensibilities. No one's going to get the vapors. So if it wasn't a major contributor factor in selling The Witcher 3, there's a good chance that no one's going to notice it in Mass Effect Andromeda. It's not going to help EA, Bioware, ship any units in any meaningful way. I'm sorry, Bioware. But no one cares about your pixelated peckers and your virtual vaginas. It's old news. Not that I want to see Mass Effect Andromeda fail. I don't. The universe is wonderful and expansive. The cast of characters are colorful with wonderful backstories. The lore of the Mass Effect universe is wonderfully thought out and rather expansive. The codec entries pretty much come up from everything you touch and will tell you anything and everything you want to know about the universe. You could almost spend a whole day alone just reading entries. This is a good series. It deserves to continue. There are loyal fans. It's just sad. It's been kind of neglected and treated so poorly by its publisher. To be honest, these aren't controversies. It all seems so unimportant and no one cares. And that should not be the case. This is a quality game and a quality series as long as you don't count the third ending. To be honest, I've seen game journalists more excited about $10 indie games, $20 indie games than Mass Effect Andromeda. Heck, there's a lot of buzz surrounding ukulele and no one cares about Mass Effect and no one is going to especially EA or BioWare. Finally, we come to the end of the video, where we'll talk about 
the only actual controversy surrounding this game. The sad part is, it doesn't involve anything in the actual game at all, but a developer. And honestly, it seems kind of pointless to me, but here we are. One of the developers, going by the name Manvir Air, as you can see on his Twitter account, also known as King Curry Thunder, talks about Mass Effect Andromeda, the game that he helped develop, in his Twitter feed. See, the problem arises when we come down and we start to see some of his other Twitter comments. As you can clearly see, he seems to have a problem with people that have, let's say, a lack of melanin in their skin. Not as much as other people. And that's slightly troubling. Especially in one breath, it's Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be great. Then the next Twitter comment is... I'm going to slap the mayo out of your mouth. Now, there's lots of comments here, and that's not what we're here to focus on. The important thing is, when you ask someone right now about a developer on Mass Effect Andromeda, nine times out of ten, the only one they're going to name is Manvir Air. And I haven't researched it, probably should have, but I can't name anyone other than Manvir Air either. The trouble arises when you realize there's more than just Manvir Air working on this project. The problem arises when you realize that Mr. Air is drawing the lion's share of the attention. Even on YouTube, a quick search and plenty of videos. And the sad thing is, there's probably more videos of Manvir Air than there is of actual gameplay commentary and opinions on Mass Effect Andromeda. It kind of steals the thunder away from all the other people that worked on it, just because he's a bigot with poor judgment. The best thing in this situation is pretty much just to ignore his Twitter account. Racists really aren't worth your time. The only real fear is if he slipped any of his hateful rhetoric into the game. And if that happened, then we're going to have more of a problem than just a ignorant Twitter feed. At the end of the day, I'm still going to buy this game. I'm not buying it at launch. I'm most certainly not pre-ordering. But this series could have a nice revival. They have been pushing it down our throats like Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed a couple of years ago. It's nice to have a break. But now, it seems like a good time for another Mass Effect game. Hopefully, the controversy surrounding this game will not detract from it, and it will have enough sales to warrant a sequel, if it's worthy of a sequel. So, who cares about Mass Effect Andromeda? It would seem that I do, if I went through all the trouble to make this video. It seems to really hit hard on that old nostalgia button in the back of my skull. Mass Effect is a wonderful series, and it's a series that should continue. I may be wrong. It could sell millions of copies, and everyone's just happy to have a new Mass Effect game and traverse space in a whole new galaxy. Other than the Milky Way, but probably not. Here's hoping. No one cares about certain Twitter accounts and everything works out all right and we can get a sequel to this so Bioware can finally make up for the sins of Mass Effect 3. Who knows? Only time will tell. I'm just a simple farm boy. I know little of the ways of the world. It's just my opinion. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the comments below. Have a nice day.